The Cedar Bridge Academy family welcomes you to our Nikiwao Celebration Assembly. Nikki is a 2008 alumnus of the Cedar Bridge Academy, and it is quite fitting for us to have this special assembly to celebrate our student athlete of excellence during this Black History Month. It is our intent to celebrate Nikki's sports achievements and to use this assembly as an inspiration for all student athletes. Once again, I say welcome to our special guests, and I hope that everyone will be inspired by the Nikki Wells Special Assembly. Without further ado, we will have brief remarks from our Deputy Principal, Mr. Anthony Weed. Good morning and thank you, Mr. Miners. Protocol having already been established, I would like to extend, in spite of that, a special welcome to uh, Nikki Wells' family who are here today in the front. And I would especially love to acknowledge Rico, uh, Rico Wells from the great class of 2010, an outstanding footballer in his own right. So Rico, would you just stand and be acknowledged please for a minute? Thank you. Nakai Wells. I always called him Nakai but I, I get it, Nikki Wells. I called him Nikai, and he always corrected me. He said it's Nikki. Nikki Wells, class of 2008, and student of excellence. Students, student of excellence, you say? Well, what do you mean, Mr. Wade? We're here to talk about sports and Nikki. Yes, that's true. Here's my recollection of Nikki Wells, student of excellence. He was a very quiet young man, almost invisible at times. He avoided the spotlight. In my interactions with him, he was totally focused on football, outside of school that is. You see, he was a student of the game, and he was a school student. In my conversations with him, uh, we talked about his football exploits on one occasion, and he told me that his goal was to be a professional football player. And I said to him, you've got to have a plan B, Nikki. And he looked at me cross-eyed. Plan B? I said, yep. I said to him, Nikai, you will not play football forever. And if your plans don't work out, what will you do? So where am I going with this? All of you are student athletes. You are students first, and you are athletes second. You will not be able to pursue your athletic dreams unless you have an education first. And you will need your education when you can no longer play uh, the sport that you have chosen, the sport that you are good at, the sport that you have practiced and is so near and dear to your heart at this point. The opportunities that you have now and the opportunities that will come your way will be because you have taken advantage of your education first. Being an excellent student will demonstrate to your coach and your team members and the team executive that first of all, you are teachable. Second, it will demonstrate that you are intelligent. And third, it will demonstrate that you have enough discipline to be an excellent role model for your team and your fans and the fans of that team. Our honoree today understood that. And way back in 2007, the light bulb went off when we talked about that. He also understood 
that his education would set him up for success long after his football career was over. My take home message to you today is that your education will be your plan B. And remember, as athletes, you are students first. Thank you, Cedar Bridge Students of Excellence.